I'm often asked questions by potential homeschooling parents, like what are some things they should know? So today, I'm gonna share with you three things I wish I had known when we started this homeschooling journey. Good morning, it's freezing out here. We're going someplace today that we've never been before and I'm gonna take you there in three, two, one. And we're here, we're at Longleaf Vista in Provençal, Louisiana, I believe. Isn't it beautiful? Whoa. You can just see the mountains. It's the first time we've been here, but Wayne's been here with the team from Ugly Mug. Hi, you guys. Oh, look. Huh? It's like a house right in the middle of the woods. However, I'm not really, I'm not sure if y'all see this, but this is like a, it's a pathway in the middle of the woods. Like, are we hiking or are we, I'm not sure if I like that. What did you find? It, there was a little part and it said Bob 1998. Oh, we hope Bob and whoever y'all are still together. We love you guys. What you think? That's really socially awkward to say that. The number three thing would be, I wish I had known that every year was going to be like starting all over again and that it's okay. Here's what I mean. In the beginning, I thought we were going to have a difficult year and then we were gonna get our sea legs and then we were going to ride off into the sunset, but that was not the case. Every year we started over, a new subject, a new grade. The kindergartner became the first grader and the first grader became the second grader. And so here we are, seventh grade, fourth grade, third grade, and first grade, and I'm relearning this every single year. But that's okay. So we have left the cliff area and we are heading to the waterfall area. And so far, it's just been great. It's gonna be one of those tiny waterfalls. Roughly 200 years ago, a longleaf pine seedling was growing here. All the remains of now is this old stump. The durability of the stump is due to high res resin, 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 resin content. Pretty oh. interesting. Oh. It's 200 years old. I don't think I've ever seen, met anyone or anything 200 years old. There was a, uh, we, it sounded like a bird and mom suggested that it was an eagle. And fun fact is that uh, an eagle's nest can weigh up to the same as a car, like a medium sized car. That's how heavy the eagle's nest can be. It's equivalent to it, so fun fact. We are all finished at the Long Leaf Vista Trails and we had a blast. The kids, I think, called it their number one spot, but we're heading back to the house. I wanna show y'all a few things there. It's about 30 minute drive, but we're gonna be there in three, two, one. So here we are, we're back at the house and the sun is slowly fading, actually quickly fading now that daylight savings time has hit. But I wanted to share with you guys this is our new actually it is our old fence we have taken it out our chain link fence is out and our wooden link fence wooden link wooden wooden fence is going in hopefully sometime this week so i'll be sharing with you guys what it looks like hopefully in the next couple of weeks but i wanted to share with you now the second thing i wish i had known when homeschooling started out is that i wish i knew there would be ample opportunities for socialization i actually have to be more selective than i ever thought i would be when scheduling socialization into my kids schedules so yes that would be number two but now tea time with harper yeah. hey guys so we're wrapping up a busy wonderful day and I just wanted to share with you my top one thing I wish I had known before I started homeschooling. For one thing that I wish I had known was that it was going to be hard. Homeschooling is going to be hard. 
So homeschooling is hard and it's okay because it's worth it. In the end, it's worth it. And I'm often reminded of a saying whenever I'm dealing with homeschooling and it's something like the right thing and the hard thing are oftentimes the same thing. I'm reminded of that usually in my homeschooling journey because it's so true in life. Everything that I've been proud of or in the end has been worth it has always been hard work. So that's my encouraging word for you guys. I hope to see you soon. Shoot me a message if you have any questions and love ya. What's up with that? Here we go again. What's up with this? Beard is back. Beard is back. Oh no! <laughs>